sort of a motivated Marine that did whatever I was asked to do. Had a lot of orthopedic problems. I had broken both my feet twice. Uh, I was diagnosed with Agent Orange. As time went on, it got worse and worse. He ended up shooting me in the throat and my spine. And because of that, I became a, a C4 quadriplegic. When this all happened with Joshua, um, I, I was lost. And to know that Building Dreams is out there, it's, it's like telling Marines, hey, I've got your back. This project is a huge benefit to me and my family. I have a young son, he's just turned 10, and to be able to be able to interact with him is, uh, is huge for us as, as a family. I'm not able to, to work or really do anything. I'm, like, I've, been, I've been housebound, so everything changed when uh, I was diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer. So things that were minor problems before became major problems. It's a life-changing, event this project that um, I can't I can't thank them enough for making this possible because if it wasn't for building dreams for Marines and, and taking care of this project you know I'd be housebound we deal with it day to day that's all you can do uh, I have good days I have bad days I have more bad than I do good but since Dream of Marines came and did the renovation, bigger door, shrunk the walls, made my life so simple, I can spin my chair around, no problem. I can get in my shower, no problem. I'm happy. My brother did, uh, did CPR on me to save my life that day. I woke up two weeks later um, in the ICU, surrounded by family and friends, and I had no idea how I got there. And, I couldn't move anything except my head. You know, we were so close to having him come home and then to find out that, you know, it was pretty devastating for sure. Uh, the VA offered me their, their home loan, which, you know, wouldn't have covered much. So we, I asked my dad um, what his thoughts were and him and my girlfriend and my mom drew out a, a quick sketch on a napkin in the hospital and my dad found a, a builder um, named Gary and Gary went above and beyond and you know, made that napkin drawing into what it is. I was actually driving to West Roxbury to, to visit him at the hospital, um, and I got a phone call from uh, one of the board members from Building Trans Marines. Uh, you know, just we, we heard about what happened with your son, and, and we want to help you. People would describe me as probably cynical, um, and, and, and I've changed a lot of that from, from this experience. And then I spoke to Gary, and he says, um, I, 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 I know this story, and I want to do something for you. They could not have lived in a worse house. It wasn't just a split level, it was a tri-level, you know. Dreams for Marines definitely stepped up big time. They didn't have long to get the project done, so that's why we jumped in there to be able to get Josh home. Pretty big community effort. They all jumped in and donated a lot of their labor to try to get this project done uh, so that it wouldn't cost the family any out-of-pocket monies was the goal. Without Dreams for Marines stepping up for the amount of monies that they were able to help the Kellers out with, I really don't think the project would have been able to, to happen and get the amount of space that Josh really needed for him to be able to maneuver through his space. I have a, a lot of respect for what these guys do, and, and men and women uh, that give up their time, their families, their personal life for, to help support the country and protect the country, so. Gary, what I mean, a hell of a Marine. You know, he, he I got you. You know, that's that's been his attitude about this whole thing. I've got you. A lot of people that aren't involved in it don't realize how much work has to go into it to be able to um, provide that service. So thank you, Dreams for Marines. I'd like to express my uh, most sincere gratitude to the people involved in this project that have helped uh, you know, with their time and with their, their finances to do things like this and to help me and to help other veterans that could use a, a helping hand. It's uh, life-changing for me and my family. Thank you. And I appreciate the people who donated money to make this possible for myself and my family. 
and the people who did the work. Thank you very much. It's going to be your typical family Christmas, you know, we're all going to be together and ripping open presents and having a big dinner and just enjoying each other's company. Yeah, this, is, this has been an awful and incredible experience at the same time. A lot of my worries and my family's worries were taken care of just because this organization wanted to help and they had the means to. I don't know, it's just they helped me exponentially. Thank you.